As the Saints came into draft night, there weren't exactly a lot of sure things. Would they draft a wide receiver, an offensive lineman, a linebacker, or a defensive back? For that matter, would they even keep the 27th pick or maybe move back into the second round? Well, in the end, they moved up to the 20th pick and took the wide receiver out of Oregon State, Brandon Cooks. Uh, I had a great feeling when I saw that trade. Uh, I knew something special was coming, and uh, I'm, I'm very excited. Because at the Combine, uh, when I had a former interview with them, uh, you know, I saw the expression on their face when I walked out the door, and I had that vibe. So, you know, I definitely felt that since the Combine. And, uh, hey, it, it happened. So I guess I went with my gut feeling that was the right thing to do. Look, he's a playmaker. He's someone that the one thing about him that stood out is he's, he's a tough player, uh, both physically and mentally. You know, he's been very consistent, uh, very durable. Um, obviously, he runs well, but I like his makeup with regards to his mental toughness. In order to acquire Cooks, the Saints had to make a deal with the Arizona Cardinals, switching first round picks and giving up their 91st pick overall, which was their third round pick. So on Friday, as of now, the Saints just have a second round pick. I'm Paul Boron for CST.